The Crawford County School District is getting a new building for its middle and high school students. The new facility will be where the existing high school is. 41 NBC's Amber Lake has more. Amber. A building that was built in the early 1970s is being demolished and in its place, a new complex that will house over 800 middle and high school students. You have an old building, you have a lot of a lot of issues through just wear and tear. Principal Ed Mashburn says if you walk through the halls of Crawford High School, you can see the upgrades that are needed. We've been in this building for well over 40 years, and our students in Crawford County deserve something uh, that they're going to be getting. Mashburn says he only sees good coming out of this project. It's a brand new building. Everything that's going to be in this building is going to be brand new. Um, Furniture is new. The technology is new. And, um, Nothing's going to be piecemeal and put together. Superintendent of Crawford County Schools, Brent Lowe, says this all started because of more students in the elementary school. We needed six classrooms at elementary so we could shuffle kids around and get our pre-K and kindergarten into a, an up-to-date building. Lowe says instead of building new rooms at the elementary school, the new building will have both middle and high school in a two-story building. Grades three through five will move into the middle school building, and the elementary school will have preschool through second grade. Lowe says the project qualified for low wealth project specific funding. If it takes more than one splash cycle to pay for the, the school's uh, portion of the, the project, the state will kick in more money. He says it'll make everyday activities easier. The benefits that we're hoping for is, for one, it'll, it takes the transition from 8th grade to ninth grade a little bit out of, the, out of the equation. The first part of the plan is to remove one of the buildings that's in the way of the new facility. Students at the existing high school will then be condensed in one building. After that, the new facility will be built. We are building on a, on a site and students will still be having school here. Lowe says this will be a two-year process that will happen over the summers. The final stage of the project is to tear down the old high school and put a parking lot in its place. Lowe says he hopes to begin classes in the new building during the 2022 school year, and the county hopes to break ground next April.